pay versus men's pay. That is something that's been talked about for years. Indeed it has, and there are new numbers out there that we found overnight that the gender pay gap has not changed much in two decades. Pew yes, that's because women are still not doing manual labor jobs. And the problem is under the gender pay, pay gap, what they do is they take the average salary of a man and the average salary of a woman. And they don't, they don't make it by, by job. Like, you know, they don't break it down by job. They just do the total. And the problem is since men are like offshore drillers and women aren't. <laughs> and also because, you know, men, uh, you know, go to work. Yeah. Oh, that's it. Okay, that's true. Um, you know, it turns because, out. No, it's true. Women, look, it is, a, it is absolutely a fact that, A, men negotiate harder for money. Yes. Mm -hmm. B, women, uh, when they ask for things, they tend to ask for quality of life, work-life balance things instead of more money. Like, women are like, oh, man, an extra week vacation and some PTO. That's what I'm talking about. And men are like, I don't care how much do I make. And, and how much can I make? Like, what's the ceiling to what I can make? That's all men care about. And that's then, why they're in sales and shit. A lot of men get into sales, car sales, and they're like, I don't want a limit. I'll stay here all fucking day and night. I hate my wife. And then, you know what I mean? Like, that's how men are built. And then women get pregnant, take a job. The b boss isn't allowed to ask if they're pregnant. And as soon as they're hired, they take three months off to have a, mm -hmm. have a kid. Mm -hmm. Dude, when I worked in sales, do you know how often I saw that? It was ridiculous. It's women a real would go thing. there, they worked there for a couple months, and they'd be like, oh, I'm pregnant. Especially when we lived near the Marine base, and it was just like, ugh, every time. Fucking Jody. <laughs> so let's see what they're saying. New research numbers show women in the U.S. are not expected to achieve equal pay until the year 2059. We're going to look at the numbers across the world. According to the Gates Foundation, it's predicted... According to what foundation? What foundation was that? <clears throat> um, <clears throat> the... The Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Oh, okay. All right, cool. Is that the vaccine block out the sun company? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You know the guy that made an operating system that's basically just stolen spyware now? You know that guy? Yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah, he also decides how much people make in the planet, and he owns most of the farmland. And completion that sounds dates for equal pretty pay global. Uh, sinister. Yeah, yeah, but he also wants less people on the planet too. So that that all that sounds more sinister, right? By any means necessary, where he was, you know, you know, messing around about maybe getting sterilizing people and with water. Okay, this supply. isn't getting any less sinister. No, 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 no. I know, I know. But hear me out, though. Huh? New Gears of War coming out. Microsoft. What do you think? That's pretty yeah, tight. They, okay, that's pretty they, tight. They First off, I, I just hope it works on release. You know I mean, what I mean? I don't want to have to fucking you know wait for the patch. And I hear what you're saying, but there's a new Halo coming out. I need to finish the fight. I need to finish the fight, you know? I can't sit here worrying about if we're going to have food or if they're sterilizing us with some sort of agents. I can't yeah, do that. We can't do that. Or if they're going to order the blacks to burn down the auto zone again. I don't know. Let me know now because I need to get headlight bulbs. And by the way, Microsoft bought Bethesda. So when the new Fallout comes out, the new Skyrim comes out, what am I going to do? What do you think I'm going to do? I'm going to play Elden Ring. Not Elden Ring. I'm going to play Elder Scrolls. That's what I'm going to be doing. Well, you guys are out there worrying if we're going to have a future, all yeah. right? I'm going to be hopping up and down or, or sneaking around just to, like, spam the sneak at the beginning so it's set up for the rest of the game. Yeah, while well, you losers are too worried, uh, wondering who's going to gang rape you to death, the Russians or the Chinese, I'm going to be playing a game that's totally broken on a day of shit. <laughs> but don't worry. Two years later, thanks to the modding community, they'll fix it. Boom. Ha, ah, who's laughing now? You know, that's the worst part of Elder Scrolls and Fallout games is like everyone's like, oh, my God, the wait till it gets released. And I'm like, yeah, how do you think I feel? I always wait until two years after it's out. So you should see so playing a broken mess. Yeah. Like, I, I don't get a game right away, not, especially not a Bethesda game. I'm always like, nah, I'll wait a year or so. And once there's the unofficial patch, I'll play it. I was just about to make a fucking <laughs> joke about the unofficial Once there's patch. a mod called unofficial patch, I'm like, I'm in. Mm -hmm. Every fucking Bethesda game, the unof the official unofficial patch, which which they oftentimes end up including in later releases. They do. They they, <laughs> they either buy they either buy the programmer out or yeah, they but at least it. they pay the guys that mod it, right? Wait, mm. what? No. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting paid? Uh, King of all pixels support Royce hype train coming through. Don't be embarrassed. Addiction is a disease and nothing to be ashamed of. That's me. It happens, bro. It happens yeah, to the best of us. According to the Gates Foundation. Does it make you a bad person? Foundation, it's predicting completion dates for equal pay globally. 2277. 
Okay, but see, the problem is when you do globally now, you're going to ask a bunch of African countries and Middle Eastern countries to pay women the same. Well, doesn't that's seem 250 promising. years yeah. from now, right? <laughs> yeah. We're unreal here. So this morning on this International Women's Day, we are upholding women's achievements. <laughs> they're going to go to North Korea and they're going to go, wait a minute, pay women? <laughs> no, they're going to go to North Korea. They're going to go, women? They're going to know. They're going to go, wait, pay people? <laughs> But we'd also want to recognize challenges like the gender. That's like that gap. meme I was exactly. talking about. I remember when uh, they were like, you know, people with a time machine or like, oh, no, if you could bring people back from the dead. And it was literally like uh, George Washington. And he's like, uh, it was so, no, it was somebody from the, uh, the like the 1800s. Like, why are women voting? And then it was George Washington. It was like, why is everyone vote? Uh, why are, you know. Um, whatever people vote uh, uh, non lander owners voting, and then the last one was just uh, Louis the Fourteenth. Like, why are people voting? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Benny with a nine dollar co uh, ko fi. Sorry, I, I missed a couple of these. I forgot you guys were donating there. Uh, with five dollars, says Nick Ricada got his channel. Why did I even go look at this? Nick Ricada got his channel back. Hey, oh, dance I not with the one from a couple days ago. Fifty dollar, five dollar hype train. When is Merch going to go do a Woman's History Month bit for our Queen Nassim? Uh, five dollars. Zen Rhino, five dollar actual factual hype train in an effort. Ray, uh, in effect, Ray Epps, great guy. Never met him. All right, let's uh, keep going with the international women whining bullshit. Wanting to help us discuss some hard I'm truths sorry, while boys. looking for women solutions, we have joined. Oh yeah, you saw that that Woman Plus award went to a dude again. Another biological male won an award for women. Joining us this morning, Julie Camp. Julie, good morning. Thank you so much for waking up right and early. What? Why do boomers always angle their fucking webcam like that? With us, you look fabulous. Thank you. Good morning to you both. So Julie is the CEO of JBK yeah. Associates look, International. It's Pino Grigio, the person. <laughs> 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 Live, laugh, love is in at least three places in that woman's home. Garen. Fucking teed. She has a Peloton collecting dust that has her bras hanging on it somewhere. You want to fucking bet? No, here in she's South got, Florida. She's got four tattoos, but they're only black. They're only like the line tattoos that lesbian get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> A woman, a woman owned firm where she is the leader in recruitment and retention. So, Julie, we've looked at the numbers globally and in the U.S. Can you share with us where Florida actually falls on the track of closing that gender pay gap? Sure. Well, actually, Florida ranks 19th in the states. Um, and basically, if you look at. Well, yeah, well, tell women to be, become alligator handlers and fucking learn how to drive cigarette boats, because that's the fucking skills you need in fucking Florida. OK, if you're not going to do that, I'm no, don't come cry to me. OK, hey, can somebody Google how many alligator catchers, there, female alligator catchers there are on the Everglades? I'm assuming it's not as many. Yeah, I, got you, I got you. Hold on. Two. Uh, none. None. OK. <laughs> none. <laughs> that would be zip. There was one. Got eaten by an alligator. So, you know, not great. The Salty Engineer, $10. Royce's Recovery Aftercare Fund. Stay strong, bud. Fuck. Nah, there's one, but it's just... Bubba's going through, like, a rough divorce, and I don't know, man. He's on this fucking estrogen thing. Oh, so don't don't the, the best don't female ask. alligator hunters are tranny. That makes sense. Sorry, women. Men are just better. Certain areas of Florida, like hey, Hollywood. Julie Hun, can you uh, can can you tilt your head up just a little bit? We're not seeing enough of your neck. Yeah, no, no, really. I want to. I want your neck and face to look like one straight line. <laughs> I want hey, you to. Look, I want you to look like fucking Beaker from the from fucking Muppets. Can we start that campaign to drive the wedge between women and trans people even more? Mm -hmm. We just got to start the every every great woman started off as a man. Campaign. Yes. I love that. You know, it'd be so good for International Women's Month. For example, they really have closed. Caitlyn Jenner. Can we get, a, can we start to kick it off? Come on, lean and mean, somebody do this. Get one of those things where each word is a picture, like each picture has a word that makes the statement. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So it'll be like every great woman started out a man or whatever and just make like each square a picture of a great trans woman and just it's like or start no and make sure you say every great woman started off as a dude oh that, by the way them. king of all pixels told me to point out that a julie's middle name is mine oh that's unfair. her name is not julie my struggle Stop no. it. <laughs> 
uh, the gap quite significantly. In fact, women are actually earning more than yeah, men. Yeah, Julie Shirk oh. for Julia. Uh, yes, you're right. Uh, <laughs> about almost 5% more, to be exact. Uh, in this city of about 150,000 or so residents. Well, let me, let me are- ask you something, ma'am. You know, on behalf of from me uh, to all women out there, have you tried not being fucking losers? Mm-hmm. Also, you could go, you, women can become men now, become a man. Yeah, hey, just become uh, a dude, dude. Hey, ma'am. You know, you-, you guys don't even have to try hard. You- like, to be, think about it. Like, you just have to put a ball cap on. And just start being like, hey, what's up, bro? Just act like that bitch from just one of the guys. Women, you get what you deserve. You are the allies to trans people. And because of that, gender means nothing. So you can't argue about a gender pay gap if gender doesn't exist. There is no gender pay gap between the 36 genders. There's a pay gap. See, that's the fucking problem, women. A lot of you fucking live in this fucking hell that you created this hell for yourself. You became ally. They just want to get married. And they were like, oh, they just want to cut their dicks off. It's fine. Like, oh, they just want to take my job. Wait, what was the last one? That's what happened. If it, that's, it goes from that to like, wait, they want to take my job? That's the issue. You fucking played yourselves. <laughs> and it's funny. Now here for we me. are. And it's funny for me. It's funny for me, you know? actually earning more than 40 you know about forty-seven thousand five hundred, which is actually hey, up that's nice ma'am did you take into consideration the discrepancies that might be brought forth by the fact that literally not a single waitress on this fucking planet reports her tips also by the way <laughs> just, b- b- hold on hold on guys looking at what's on the screen now i could tell a woman did the numbers for this read number two uh <laughs> We're actually uh, pretty good. I can out of Puerto Rico. Florida ranks 19th out of 51 states. <laughs> I mean, look, I know they oh, mean Puerto. Well, I, I look, I know they mean Puerto Rico, right? I understand. They're, they're I really know. pushing for that statehood. I know they mean Puerto Rico, right? I know they mean that, right? Puerto Rico. Yeah, oh, Puerto Rico. <laughs> oh. I actually I took can't. me a second. Yeah, 51 states. That's uh. That's how you know I women can't. did it. Did the math argue about how you're not getting paid enough and then say shit like 51 states that's why you're not getting paid enough <laughs> you dumb idiots so you know there's not one guy on the team like I hey know. um <laughs> technically Look, instead of giving you one and, then, and, 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 and so, as soon as the guy says something hey guys stop man explaining to me don't mansplain. I got it. It's International Women's Day. They said well, we, all women were going to do this report, okay? <laughs> Almost 33% uh, from 2017 uh, to 2021. I like the fact that the women are out, young women are out earning young men in Gainesville. That's because they're all working at the Coconut Cabaret. <laughs> Let's be honest. That's a good point. And if you look in Gainesville... <laughs> What, what, what's the, what's the name of the huge strip club right before Gainesville? Um, Cafe Risque. Cafe Risque. They all work at Cafe Risque. <laughs> also, for- the fucking claim to fame, just guys, to tell you how classy Cafe Risque is, the claim to fame off the, all the billboards when you drive by it is trucker showers. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's a good. It's stuff. not even a strip club though. There's no booze or anything. No, there's well, there's. It's maybe- literally a diner. I'm not kidding. For- it's just a strip club diner example young women are actually out earning younger men so the state of florida are making some significant gains compar- low-key i'm going to read it in the way i think he means it the year is 2020 20, 22, 2276 and puerto rico still hasn't achieved gender pay equality no but listen to this bitch reveal what she truly feels too because she yeah. goes well in gainesville women are now earning more than men so we're making progress Mm-hmm. So this isn't about equality. You want more than us. Of course they want more. Fucking look at the the female soccer players got what they wanted. The men are subsidizing. The men had to take a pay cut to pay them more, even though men make more because nobody wants to watch women's sports. <sighs> and except except for like volleyball, and that's just a jerk off. Why are women you, like this? Do you remember the time that the American soccer team got beat by a junior varsity fucking fifteen year olds, bro? By fifteen year olds, dude. It's one of my favorite stories. Bro, and it was like it was like three to one. 
bowl to the you know to the rest of the country so there is progress i mean which mm -hmm. is which Absolutely. is really encouraging yeah, it lends itself to a little bit of confidence so we did a lot of research here and and we found some numbers that one study shows narrowing the wage gap could actually boost the worldwide economy by you know what'll help all these young men that are feel disenfranchised are going to kill themselves and then that'll balance it out that'll fix the balance sheets how's that sound huh you know what hap you know what'll fix this Marsh? CEOs, male CEOs need to turn trans. Think about there it. There we go. We need more. You know what? I'm starting a thing right now. We need more trans billionaires. Because all those men, if they turn into women, pay gap done. Yeah, no more wars. There you go. Make Elon Musk trans. I don't hate this. Think about it. Fucking trans CEOs is how you fix the pay gap, mathematically speaking. To be fair, he already is trans. He's just transhumanist. Yeah, no, I know, I get it, but I'm, you know what I mean. I'm, he's got to be turned to a girl. You well, know, he wants to turn into a robot. Well, yeah, maybe you'd like it if you had robot ears. Uh, <laughs> he really is that dude from Grandma's Boy that was obsessed with like, I'm going to yes. get robot legs JP. put in. Yeah, exactly. How can he see me? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Any male CEOs that are not turning trans are part of the reason there's a gender pay gap. So now, balls in your court. Seven trillion dollars. So why is it taking so yeah. long? It seems like this would lend itself to, uh, well, some incentive. Well, I think we were making some progress, but then this nasty little thing called COVID happened. No, nah, no, the COVID didn't happen. The government's response to COVID happened. There's a big difference. There's that. And yeah. basically <laughs> it set us back hundreds of years. In fact, hundreds of years. This is how fragile women are. <clears throat> this is how fragile women are, according to her. I, I don't think she's right, but women, this is how fragile this woman thinks you are. Two years of COVID set you guys back a hundred years. I fucking wish it set them back a hundred years, because then I could fucking beat them. They'd have to shut the fuck up, and they couldn't vote. See? Yeah, could we set it? Well, no. Remember, she said hundreds, which is even better. No, yeah, hold on, really. Virgie. Be careful. Let, let's make sure we do this right. When were showers and like high and tampons and stuff invented? Because I want to go to an area that's a sweet spot where they don't, their yeah. pussies don't smell and stuff. You don't want like smelly yeah. pussies either. Yeah, you so, so that. you got to pick like a really good sweet spot. Like what's like 50s yeah. maybe? 60s? Yeah, we go back a hundred years. Everybody's fucking bedroom is going to smell like the fucking bat cave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And fucking Nookie Thompson, only Nookie Thompson and his fucking people like him could take baths. So yeah, I'm not, you know, I don't know if I want to do Boardwalk Empire times, but I'm thinking like 50s, yeah. 60s, right? Uh, uh, no, Boardwalk Empire. So you still want twenties? You want Boardwalk Empire? Pre Boardwalk Empire. So, but, right but, 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 but the hygiene. You know, it does give you an excuse to hose them down. I mean, I guess I just feel like the hygiene is worse, and I think the the farther back you go, the bushier the pussy's gonna be. It's a whole like thing. I, mean, I you suppose, but I mean, you know, at what cost do you want to fucking have shaved pussies and having them wearing fucking Mark Jacobs Daisy? You know. I mean, is that a thing you care about? <laughs> well, I'm just saying, like, <laughs> look, they want him to fuck everywhere. <laughs> I literally just had a chick about? tell me her perfume like a couple nights ago, and it stuck in my head. So I'm like, I'll make that reference. It's just funny. It was like it was such a specific one. <laughs> that's what makes funny. a joke. I know no, that was yeah. great. That was no, great. but but like that's you want to give them the right to vote and let them drive and let them work and let them be this like this insufferable cunt on the news, all at the cost of what some bush and they smell a little nicer. I'll take the trade off. All right. I mean, hey, fair shut enough. Shut the man. fuck up now. Get out there and turn some goddamn butter. Okay. You can you mouth heard shut it here, folks. Merce likes musty bitches. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If they shut the fuck if up, they I do. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> They leave me the fuck alone and shut up. Yeah, I love like them. Like silent, musty bitches. I like the I like to think that new people that are new women that are tuning in on Rumble, maybe the shows this is on the front page, are tuning in, <laughs> are are watching well, you know, us and going welcome like, to the show, ladies. You know what? These guys got a point. Uh, you know, I mean, what do you want? <laughs> <sighs> Somebody maybe you go back in time to Boardwalk Empire times. Maybe you invent bush shaving. Maybe you come up with all the good ideas. You okay, make millions, well, well hundreds back then. But still, you could <laughs> you'd make hundreds of dollars, which in today's times is billions. That's a good point. I mean, look, I hear what you're saying. Also, central AC is a big thing for me. It's gonna be really warm. Just women. No, 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 no. 
We're staying right here. Okay, sorry. Just women. The women. <laughs> oh, I thought this is different. Hold on. So the women are going to be like the twenties, but we have modern day conveniences. They could shave their pussies. Then yeah, fine. Yes, I'm in. That's fine. Yeah, but only if they ask nicely and if we get our permission first. Now, obviously, they need to ask for permission or have some sort of voucher system. I'm with you there, Virgie. Obviously, we can't just like <laughs> we can't be going out there thinking they can shave their pussies whenever they feel like it. Yeah, no. That's that leads to chaos, and then we're right back where we started. Yeah, we do no autonomy it. for women. No. <laughs> Turns out we just invented time machines so we could become the Jews before the Jews. <laughs> no economy for women sounds like a fucking sequel to No Country for Old Men. <laughs> it's a lesbian telling you to pick, friendo. <laughs> Some lesbian with the same bull haircut is slipping a coin holding a shotgun. Uh, the numbers actually show that two million women stepped aside uh, out of the workforce during COVID. As you can understand, they are the typical... God forbid they stepped aside and, you know, started a family. Like, God forbid that happened, right? Oh, no. ...caregivers. Uh, they are the ones that were staying home with the children as children were doing remote learning. And it was very difficult. I remember the caregivers, right? Didn't they build, like, the... the Dude, whatever it was, spark something, and then oh no, you're thinking of Halo the, again. The, the, the you're rings. thinking of Halo. Yeah, no, 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 no. You're thinking right. of the aliens. No, no. Oh, no, yeah, no, no, no. no why no, don't no. the Why don't the caregivers pay women more? Well, probably something to do with the flood. Ah, uh, what? Are, how much does the covenant pay women? The <laughs> covenant doesn't pay women. Oh man, that sounds big. <laughs> they know exactly what they're doing. <laughs> oh, it's very, very difficult to make up. Uh, that that uh, that time that they have taken mm -hmm. away from the workforce. So that really, as I did my research, uh, found that that was really a very significant aspect. Yeah, that was very very. You know what it, you know what this is right here. Mm. These two ladies are putting on a clinic on why women make less money. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You, because listening to you talk sucks. Watching you play sports sucks. Watching you do things sucks. There's yeah. a reason why all like these rich baller ass women are all like Rachel Ray and all these other fucking, you know what I mean? Like the Martha Stewart. We, that's what we want to watch you do. Crafts. Is that your phone? Yeah, I'll go. It's in the other room. Sorry. It's the women. It's the woman police. The woman police are calling Merce to take them out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. No one respects female cops. Yeah, they're going to get our boy. <laughs> you can fucking push them away with one arm. Ladies, I'm really sorry. It's International Women's Day. We're trying to be as nice as we can. And this is probably it. This yeah, is probably this the best we could do. I don't... This, is, this is fucking monumental effort. <laughs> we love here. you, ladies. Well, you know we're obviously we're kidding. Not about the whole bring going back to the 20s thing. We're fucking serious about that. Yeah, but, no. We didn't even get to the beating part. Yeah. We're, we're kidding about allowing you to shave. We're not going to. We'll have no. you shave.